Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Side Pursue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is exploring the do's and don'ts of first dates with women. Both sexes want to make a great first impression. They want their behavior to be great on a first, second, third date. Or so you'd like to think. Unfortunately, this isn't always the case. So it's really important to understand how you come across to others upon a first meeting. Do you show confidence? Are you shy? Do you come across as maybe a little bit assertive? Apart from physical attraction, what are your other great attributes? This is what both sexes also need to know because you can't just rely on looks all the time and you can't just be attracted to somebody's looks because a lot more goes into a relationship down the road and for longevity. The one great thing, if you're at a first date, you're ready to go on the date, you've established a connection to some degree with that person. So what are some of the things that women really like on a first date? Well, most women really love it when a man takes the initiative to contact her, text her the day before, confirming the date, letting her know what type of date they'll be going on and what time. If you let her know all these things right away, automatically she's relaxed because she's not freaking out about what's going to happen and where you're going to go. She also really appreciates it when a man takes time to look nice for the date like shows that he's put some effort into his appearance because that's the first thing you see. You open the door, there they are. You're both standing there looking at each other and so much goes through your mind on that first impression. So take the time to look nice. In my coaching business, one of the things that women have told me happens quite regularly on the first, second date is that the men are late or they call last minute and say, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it today. Can we do it another day, a couple of days later? Please don't do this. If you can't make a date because something really valid has come up, let her know a couple of days ahead of time. If you have to cancel last minute, you apologize profusely and you plan that other date right there and tell her you'll make it up to her. Respect her time. It's just as valuable and as important as your time. One thing to take notice of guys is when you're sitting across from a woman, please make sure that your eyes are on her because she notices. She notices if your eyes are wandering around the room. She wants to feel like she's the priority and that you are listening to her, your intention or attention is on her. Make sure if she's shy, she's a little uncomfortable, that you bring the conversation to a place where she feels that she can come in and be a part of the conversation. If we, if we talk too much about ourselves, that can stop the other person from coming in and wanting to say too much. They don't want to interrupt. And also you want to make sure that she tells you things about herself. You want to get to know her better. So you can ask her questions that are lighthearted. It can be something as simple as, what the, what's the most fun thing you do on your days off? You know, if you could go anywhere on a holiday, where would you go? Just little simple things that bring her into a place of comfort. Because a lot of women when they're dating are nervous, especially if you're a big confident guy. It can make her feel a little sort of pulled back and she's not sure to, uh, what to say. If you make her feel comfortable, bring a little humor in. Women love to laugh. They love a man that knows how to make her laugh. And that is definitely a key to a second date if you can get her laughing. So if you're the witty type of guy and you've got some great fun things to talk about, always initiate that into the conversation. It's not an interview. It's not going up the checklist and making sure she ticks off all the boxes and vice versa. If she talks to you that way, change the conversation up. Don't allow it to continue in that manner. A date should never feel like an interview. It should never feel like a sales pitch. It should be comfortable. There shouldn't be a big checklist. 
There should be a silent one that you're looking for integrity, you're looking for someone who respects you, you're looking for reciprocated conversation and great communication. These are all things that both sexes should be looking for. And the one thing that I've heard more than anything else, women really don't want to talk about sex too early. They don't want to feel obligated to have to be with you in, in, in an intimate manner too quickly. And guys, I want you to really be aware here that if a woman does become intimate with you within the first or second date, there's going to be different expectations because many women become emotionally involved when they're intimate with a man. And so things change. They have a different viewpoint now. They want things to be on a different level. So it's really in both sexes' best interest not to get that into play too quickly. Get to know each other. Make sure you like each other. That's why you date. And if you do enjoy being with her, tell her. Make her feel comfortable. I'm really enjoying this date. This is fun. You're 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 a fun girl or you're you're interesting. And at the end of the date, if you really enjoyed yourself, say to her, I'd love to see you again. If you're not interested in her, you can say at the end of the date, I don't feel a complete connection. I feel like there's some things we're not really that compatible with. And you know what? It might hurt for a minute. It might make her feel, oh my God. But at least then she knows. She's not waiting around for you to pretend that you're going to call. I think that this is what's happening with dating. People are feeling just pushed away without any communication, any conversation about it. So people are sitting there wondering, what the hell happened? Why did we not have a second date? Why did it just end like this? If you're honest about it with a diplomatic approach, it doesn't leave people needing some kind of closure and trying to figure out what the hell happened. They know what happened. You didn't mesh. That's okay. And another thing, I want to discuss with men here is that you don't have to feel obligated to take someone to, out for an expensive dinner. A date does not have to have a price tag attached to it. If you're dating women that expect this and it's starting to piss you off, you need to understand why you're attracting these people. Why are you doing this? Like, change it up. Don't offer that option. Take that right out of the equation and just say to her on the first date, I'd love to try this new coffee shop or this new deli down the street. Would you be interested in going there for, for a, a, a bite with me? Just a nice casual atmosphere. People get so intimidated by certain ambiance. And if it's very stuffy, pretentious, where you're going, it's going to make them very aware of their surroundings and they're going to be nervous about it. Lighten up the mood. This is the one of the most important things you can do on a first date, is have the atmosphere lighthearted. And guys, I get it that it's hard to know what you're supposed to do anymore. Things have changed. Women don't like this. They don't like that. Don't open the door. Don't do this. Do whatever makes you feel good. If you're a gentleman type of guy by nature, be a gentleman. If she doesn't like it, then maybe she's not the girl for you. If she does like it, she will say thank you. I appreciate that. She'll, you'll see that she appreciates that. So don't worry too much about what you're not allowed to do, what you're not supposed to do. What should you do? Just do who you are. Be authentic. Because that's the kind of person you want to meet, is somebody who likes who you are. The thing that happens is so many people are intimidated on a date. They're, they feel nervous and uncomfortable. And the, the best thing that we can do for each other is to take that away. Be fun. I think that's what's really missing. Everyone's looking for either the happy ending or they're looking for that partner right away. They want to know on the first date whether they're going to be in a relationship with this person. Instant gratification of any sort on a first date is not where you should put yourself. A second and third date show you a little bit more each time. So try not to be too judgmental too quickly. If they're not the kind of person you're interested in, let them know at the end of the date it just wasn't a good fit.
And I think that a lot of women really appreciate that rather than sitting there wondering if they're ever going to hear from you again. Dating etiquette is so important because it will make or break that second date. And we all want to find our special person. So ask fun questions, be goofy, be playful. Just show the fun side of who you are.